when baking textures in another application such as 3D Studio Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, uh, Softimage, Lightwave, and so on, you may often find the same process going on, and that is having a lower resolution or lower poly version of your model overlapped by your high resolution. And in 3D Coat, your high resolution is your voxel model or if you import a very dense reference mesh. 3D Coat uh, will have them overlap like this and obviously the snapping feature allows you to keep it as close as possible so that when the baking occurs uh, there's very little room for error. Okay, But also you may notice in your application that not only do you have them overlapping but you also happen to have a projection cage and that projection cage you also want to um, as a rule of thumb have your cage as close as possible without having any geometry poking through and that would be the same case in 3D Coat. Now how you access this cage is through the retopple menu go a little further down than halfway to baking parameters and now you have this little dialog that allows you to preview the inner and outer distance of the cage okay on flat objects like this an inner distance might not be that important so I'll bring that down to let's say 2 and the outer distance just for effect I'm going to increase it to 20 so that you can see the outer cage. I'll bring it back down to let's say five. It's a little closer. Okay, and I don't see any portion of the voxel object protruding through, so we should be good to go. And now you're ready to go ahead and merge your model or use the texture baking tool here. Or you can merge into the paint room using these different modes. So I hope this helps, and uh, thank you for watching.